Right. Uh, so essentially, the prerequisite for us ending up on this screen is that we have gotten a Swish handle number, the one that we have here. Uh, we have gotten a both a PEM and a key file from the Swish uh, administration portal as well. Um, and once we have both of those or all, all of these components, then uh, we can essentially set up the store. Uh, and then, of course, we have the custom message here as well that will be shown in the app. So the first thing we just need to do here is just to place the PEM and the key file in the config settings. So I'm just going to go here to here, download, upload my certificates and my key. And then we will change this message to hello demo or something like that. Save, which there will be a successful save right there. Um, and then we will just prep our checkout here. So we will go to the actual store. Right. Um, and then we will go here to the Swish product. Uh, obviously, this works with any product, but this is good because it's one crown. Uh, so we will just proceed here normally. And then we have the Swish payments payment provider right here now what we have to do is just to enter our swedish like private phone number that is associated with swish so this will be this number now before i proceed i can also just show my uh, my swish application here so to swish i can't really see myself here but i assume that that this can be seen so this is just the empty Swish app. I've not initialized anything. Nothing has, no payment has been initialized to me or anything like that. Excellent. But if I now click on go to payments, then this screen will open and I have three minutes to accept the payment in my phone. Now this also popped up in my phone. Is this visible? Yes. Yes, perfect. So now we can see that it's the one crown payment that has been initialized, as well as you can see the, the message that I entered earlier. And you can also see the name of the company that is on the certificate. Uh, so I will just simply hit the pay button here, and I just need to turn it towards me because it's face ID. So um, let's see here. There we go. And now it should be a green screen on the Swish app. I see it. Excellent. Yes. And then Swish should go back and accept the payment. And now the payment is done and we are at the thank you for your order screen. First of all, let's just see that the order has actually come in here to, to Equid. So here we can see the order that I just placed. Now, what is good about this is the fact that we are able to see sort of some uh, more information, not only the fact that we have paid with Swish, but we can also see the Swish transaction ID here uh, that is being stored on each order. And this is good to see for the merchant if they, for some reason, if Swish has failed to send the money to the, uh, to the correct account. Obviously, th th this happens very, very seldom. But if this happens, then they need to have this ID uh, to go to the bank so that the bank can check what actually happened with the transaction. So if they have this, then they can proceed further with any troubleshooting that they might want to do. So the um, and then, of course, in terms of refunds, uh, we have or if if you need to perform any sort of refund in the uh, in the order, uh, then we have that possibility as well by changing the payment status here. Um, now, obviously, what I'm going to do first is just to show you here you can see that there's no nothing in the swish app currently um and then we will simply just hit the refunded payment status here this is the screen displaying all of the different transactions so you can see the um there's two bjorn tech transactions uh that have come in today so the first one is the mi minus one and the second is plus one so the plus one is just me having received the uh, the refund. 